Now emergency brakes used to be as easy as pulling the handle, the shoes would actually retract into the drum and it was cable driven. That's pretty easy. How did we get from that to this right here, electronics. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. Yeah, we're talking about electronic e-brakes, new technology, crazy stuff. Well, like I said, we started out with the cable. You guys are all familiar with this. Goes back, pulls the shoes, bam, the shoes come out. Now we got them either built in on a disc system to the drum, or we got a caliper that has an integral parking brake. And I have one right here, you can see it. You have to use a special tool to retract that because you have a screw and a pinto in there for that to work. Now, what we're talking about today is electronic e-brakes. And I have one right here on the table. You push the button, bam, it applies. Now, there's a couple of rules you need to know about this. When you're doing any service work on a car, whether it's Integral or this one, you need to do this. So what's going to happen is you go into the vehicle, I'll show you in a minute, and then you retract it for service. Well, watch this. Here's what happens. If I retract this, you can see that little piston running back. And I know what you're saying, well, the caliper didn't move. No, it didn't move. So you can go in there now and you can push it back. So once you push it back, you're okay. You're not stripping out the motor, but you have to retract it first. Then when you're done retracting it, you go, you take it out of service mode. And what the computer's gonna do is it's gonna wind that piston back out and get it ready for the next stop. And there it goes, it starts to move it out. So that's some new technology, but you may have to have a scan tool to do that, to retract it and put in service mode, or you can go into the driver information center. And that's what we did here. We went right into the driver information center and you can see, we just clicked our settings. We went into display there, scrolled down to brakes. We went down to brakes. We went into service mode and bam, there it was. Do you want to retract it? Now, when I push that button, what happens is it actually wound that piston back just like I did. Once I did that, well, then you can go ahead and do your brake job. Now, after the brake job, you just want to take it out. That was pretty easy. It just says reset, park and brake, activate the parking brake lever. So you push it, then we were good to go. But, you know, evolution's come a long way from that e-brake to where we are today. Oil's the same thing, man. This old oil can here says highly refined. I don't think so in comparison to AMS oil. You guys really are at the top of your game. Yeah, it's been an evolution, that's for sure. And you have to keep moving forward or you get left behind. We were the first company certified with a 10W40 a API certified fully synthetic product back in 1972. We've been testing, formulating ever since then, and we've got an evolution of products that you know you and I have been discussing quite extensively here. So you have gotta keep moving forward. You always have to be testing. You have to change with the times, and you have to continue to offer what the market is asking for. Absolutely. You know, don't fear technology, <laughs> embrace it. You can see all the technology and science behind their products. Just go to amsoil.com.